welcome back to my channel. We're back with a hair video. Today we are going to... <laughs> now, I don't want to do too much talking because I want to just get into it, but doing a big chop. This isn't my first go around. When I started my channel, my hair was fresh off of a big chop, which is why it was extremely short um, right after I had my daughter. So like three, almost four years ago. Yeah, because my daughter's about to be four next month. We're here again because my hair is severely damaged, mostly color damage. I want this hair off my head and I want it to grow back in its healthiest natural state. So I'm doing a big chop. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, your hair is so beautiful, your hair is so long, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it looks beautiful until like we really looking at it and we really looking at like how damaged and processed it is. So yeah, I tried doing the whole transitioning thing, like just snipping off the little stragglers, but it's just not looking how I want it to look. My wash and goes are not looking the best that they could. So we're just gonna start from the bottom. The best and quickest way to get healthy hair is to just cut it off, let go of that dead weight start over so that's what we're gonna do I had my hair cut before in a pixie cut this is not my first go around um, with a pixie cut but when I got it cut before it was permed so I am actually going to for once have my hair cut the way that I want it to be cut and no I'm not going to a salon I know. just just bear with me because I feel like nobody knows my head and my vision like I do Yes, I can go to a salon, but I want to cut it my own way. And I trust myself more than I trust anybody else. Because if anybody else messes up my hair, I'm going to be mad. If I mess up my hair, it is what it is. <laughs> we'll see how it looks after I cut it off, how much brown is still there. I know once we get to the back, it won't be much brown. But um, the front, because I still want the bang look, and I'll insert some inspo pictures, but I still want that bang look. So like more so to the side and like the sides tapered in the back, like kind of short. So we'll see. this much. These are so sharp. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that might be too short. Okay. This shit looks like synthetic hair is so fucking bad. 
Split is everywhere. Y'all see what I was working with? My God, ew. Okay. I don't know if I put it too short or not, but all I know is the rest of my hair at the bottom has to be cut like this. I think that's about right here. Where's that? Gotta keep going. Okay. I'm kind of gonna do it a little so it's a little bit longer. I don't know. Right here. I'm gonna wet it down. I wanna see how it looks. Alright, so to wash, I'm just gonna go in with some shampoo, conditioner, and I'm gonna use this as a deep conditioner. Oscar Moist. And then when I am about to style, I'm going to use this leave in conditioner with some gel. But we'll be able to see how it's looking. So this is how much I cut off. See y'all when my hair is washed. Alright, what you think? I decided to style it off camera because I wanted to focus and I don't know. The camera being on was kind of making me nervous. Like somebody was watching me. You know, when people watch you and do stuff, that's when you mess up. So yeah. It's still wet, like 100% wet. I literally just finished styling it, but this is how it's looking. 
and I'm probably gonna diffuse it a little bit and then let it just naturally air dry but let me let y'all see try to get my baby hairs going I need a brush I'll do that when I diffuse it. But yeah, this is the side. This is obviously my good side. That. Side. Front. So, what y'all think? Cut it myself. Still amazed with how it looks. But yeah, I have this roll on because I'm going to diffuse my hair a little bit and then I'm going to actually get dressed for the day. But I'll probably show you all when it's fully dry, but we look good. My husband's probably going to go in with the clippers and help clean up the sides a bit more so that I can lay a little flat, but not give me a lineup or anything because I like the softness like right here. I like the softness of these little touches and I kind of like the softness of the curls at the bottom too so probably keep that just like take some off the sides a little bit more but yeah I like it like I look so cute we like it y'all don't say I should have kept it long because my hair looks so much more healthy now like hundred times more healthy and it feels healthy so yeah when it grows back at least it'll grow back healthy and it'll grow back super fast Mike my, my mom is probably gonna be like what in the world but I didn't tell anybody I was cutting my hair because I didn't want people to talk me out of it and I know people don't mean mean to but when you hear a lot like you look good with your long hair like your long hair is just so pretty and curly like you know you start to feel like that's the only way you can look beautiful is if your hair is long and curly and even if your hair is just literally on its last leg dry tangled matted unhealthy processed people will still tell you that your hair looks really good just because it's long and I didn't want that negative attach I mean I didn't want that hyper attachment to my hair to the point where that's the only time I felt beautiful and right now I feel like I look so beautiful I love it so much so yeah I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit and then I'll come back probably fully dressed and we'll see how it's looking fully dry but Just to hear how they talk Back and forth, no You should hear how they talk